Hello to the channel, welcome back everyone. International Weekie, what an absolute load of... <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't let me swear all the time in the videos, but you know what I mean. Absolute load of turd. Um, anyways, that's just because <laughs> it's um, been completely impossible to get at least four guys out of five, never mind five out of five in a team. Uh, but there we go. So we've got another weekend coming up, but thankfully we do have some light at the end of the tunnel because we have the MLS weekly special. So we're going to be building some teams for that and having a wee look at the spreadsheet, see what we can um, do, see if we can manage to to salvage something. Uh, but I think I think in all honesty, just getting five starters would be a, a huge achievement at the moment. I don't know how everyone else is faring. Pretty quiet week as well. Um, obviously, everyone choosing this time, including myself, they have a good moan about stuff like rewards, DMPs, all that jazz. Um, and that's that's what happens when people get bored. Basically, they just they just start talking complete shite like me. <laughs> so there we go. Now I've sworn as well. So let's go on with it before I talk more of that five letter word. So I must admit. I want to have a look first, um, not at this rubbish that's been ongoing. I didn't even want to look at that. Damn. Um, yeah, complete nonsense. So, I want to have a look first and foremost at the MLS competitions. Um, pretty good, to be honest. Um, it is a wee bit tempting to um, be sort of... Oh, wife's just sent me a text here. Hang on. Been rudely interrupted by the wife here. That's oh, right. Nothing important. So I don't know why she's texting me in the middle of the video, but anyway. So the MLS weekly special, or special weekly, um, limited wise, um, as I was saying, is it is it worth um, building lineups for this? I've, I've no doubt that it actually is worth it. I just don't know whether or not I want to get back involved in that. Um, certainly from the rare point of view, um, I'll show you in a wee minute um, what we've been sort of doing there. So first and foremost you need um at rare level three new season cards. So that's part of the, the sort of general difficulty. So got big Joe Willis who will come good eventually I'm sure but no other sort of real options here. But this guy's come into his own so you know this is the, the sort of plus side of um the DMP rewards sometimes you get guys like this for a backup and then eventually you get some utility out of them. So Anyway, still not a big fan myself for awards recently, so <laughs> don't take that as me defending so rare now anyway. Um, Defender-wise, um, so Omar Campos is a new season card I was going to be counting on, but he's he's not in the predicted lineup, so I'm guessing he's in some sort of Mexican squad somewhere, or probably injured, I don't know. So I picked up this guy, Rodrigo Schlegel. Now, um, pretty much picked him up because he was a tenor, so that's the full explanation <laughs> it's just like I'm not spending a hundred quid on a guy to try and win or whatever. But we'll look at the prizes in a minute. Um, so yeah, I picked him up. He is in the predicted lineup for Orlando. Martin Rogeda, I'm more positive on. I think I paid like um about sixty quid for this guy. So yeah, I think he's a really good player. To be honest, um, Orlando, I was not very complimentary about their defense and everything. Um talking about when they were playing against Inter or Miami, but um, he's a pretty good player, Ojeda, and he had a really good record, um, his previous team, etc. as well. I think he's just kind of starting to hopefully come good, so so I, I don't mind that at all, um, spending that. And I'd rather spend you know, 60 quid on a rare or whatever than, than spend like 50 or 60 quid on a limited, in all honesty. And I'm not dissing the, the limited scarcity and all that sort of stuff. It is quite liquid and there's loads of demand for the cards. I get all that stuff, but you know, you will get a lot of people who will spend 60 quid or whatever. They might not win too much and then their cards are worth 20 or 30 quid later on in the season. They'll be, they'll just be crying in their cornflakes. So, you know, do, do what suits you, but um, I'm sticking to sort of earn above at the moment. Um, up front, so um, Messi's injured would have been with the Argentine time. Let's say that again. Messi's injured. He would have been with the Argentinian team. That's easy for me to say. After a T decaf as well. So he'll not play. Luis Suarez. 
I'm not sure actually um, if he's in any form of Uruguayan squad or whatever. But I'm going to play a bit safe and go with big Lorenzo. Um, and then um, Thiago Almada is not in the projected lineups. So did look at that too. Um, so I think we'll go with Carly Scale. A wee bit unusual going with him against Sp- Spencer Reichie, but um, Carly, yeah, he can do like 80 or 90 without, um, without any goal or assist. So. You know, you just never know. Um, and I'm going to go for Big Lorenzo as a captain. Um, Big Lorenzo is just my nickname for him, right? It's not um, actually called Big Lorenzo. Um, but in terms of why I'm excited about this, I mean, prize pool wise, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just really good, right? I mean, $2,200 is like, that's like the amount of F or F dollars or whatever people are paying for Mbappe just now. So, People should be getting excited about this, right? Because that's really good. And also, next weekend in the MLS, it goes up a bit more. The fall weekend, it goes up a bit more. So it is a special tournament. But, you know, from next weekend, we'll have this special tournament. And we'll also have, um, you know, the contender, challenger stuff, etc. as well. Okay. So over and above that, I'm going to have a, a quick update of the spreadsheet. And then we'll pick one or two other teams. It's, it's really quite a sparse game week. I'd also just want to say whilst the spreadsheet's updating, so this is it doing the magic yeah, that keeps us right from picking crap teams. Um, YouTube will be putting some videos, um, ads in the video. I don't know why I can't talk the tape. Honestly, I don't know why. I'm Honestly, I promise I've not been on again. So uh, YouTube started putting in ads. That's because the channel's monetized, all that type of stuff. Um, I'm trying to avoid having like four or five ads in the middle of each video, particularly the shorter ones, um, to have a bit of feedback that the video we did with MPEN, although it was like really good and everything, YouTube had went absolutely bonkers with ads. I think there was like 12 ads, 13, 14 ads or something in the middle of the video. So I've actually disabled that now. And uh, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, but also, um, Please watch some of the other videos if you've got some time and you're just bored with International Week. Um, I would recommend the, the video with MPEN because we're just talking about generally about Sora, so that's not Game Week specific. And Mike is a guy who really, really knows his shit with all the numbers, etc. as well. Okay, so this will finish at some point soon. And then team fixtures. Though I break it sometimes. <laughs> right, so... As you can see from the team fixtures, this is um, actually set to clean sheet. But in terms of expected team goals, have I broken it? Mm, I suppose I have. No, I've not. So we've got Orlando City actually quite high up in terms of expected team goals. So that, that'll maybe explain to you why I bought the Jada as well. Sporting Kansas City as well. Guys like Johnny Russell, Polito, I think. You know, pretty good candidates. Um, I'm not having Ellie against Nashville being a good fixture. Sorry, Nashville, Nashville will do the business. Um, I'm just joking here because obviously Hanny Mukhtar, um, Joe Willis, um, Zimmerman's injured just now. Um, I actually don't really fancy Nashville away from home. I mean, they're, they're starting solid enough, but they're usually a lot better at home. Vancouver and our funny team as well, um, not from a comedic point of view, but um, they're pretty good at home and they get some really good Results at home and guys like, you know, Ryan Gold um, isn't in the Scottish squad, which I don't actually really know why, to be honest. Um, then you've got the um, New England Revolution there as well. So, um, in terms of my own personal players, I have a look at this. There we go. I haven't, I haven't actually broken it. I have a, wait now. <laughs> I have broken it. I have I broke it. There it is. You've never seen it in the magic of the video. But I paused it and I turned it off and I turned it back on again and now it's working. There you go, there's your IT solution. So let's have a wee look and see what we can cobble together <laughs> for this weekend. Um, it looks like um, Suzuki is the Japanese goalkeeper. I'm really hoping they're not going to do Suzuki and then Ozako over a double leg thing, right? Surely you would have thought they're just going to go with Z and Suzuki. So, um, Probably going to break it again, but I'm going to um, pick the under 23 um, team again because I think that this is the most fun when you can get everyone to start. So, um, 
we can try and get something strong out for that, that'd be good. The other thing as well is Sugawara played, so um could have quite a good plus stack here as well. Easier just to do the filters. I'm going to really miss the All-Star Rare Plus as well, must admit. Like, but there we go. Don't want to see me crying in the video, but I did always really enjoy that. Tournamenti, so Tien Suzuki um, and Sugawara, I think that's kind of natural um, selection in terms of the defensive side of things. Let's hope Japan don't go too bonkers with rotation. Um, other interesting thing here, do have um, Riku Puig, um, Puig, Puig, to use, so, you know, if we get guys start here, this is a really strong team, um, so pretty interesting. Now, up front is going to be the, the real difficult one, um, probably want to highlight somebody here that people are not really that aware of, so um, I've got this guy's unique, Nico Serrano, now, expect score 54, he's got his place in the team. He'd been quite good the last couple of weeks as well. Looks if he's just coming on a game. as an away game, but I think with it being quite a similar score as like Orlando and Taki, I'm going to take a chance on him um, because um, Taki never started the last game um, and said Thiago Almada is not in the projected lineups, etc. Interestingly, Korea struggled a wee bit and Kang and Lee never started, but I think something happened. Um, it was to do with travel or injury or something, but I think he'll start. So I'm going to nail my, nail my colours to the mast and I'm going to go for that. And I think that is a really good team. But as I said, the trick is trying to get guys to start, in all honesty. Um, it's just such a difficult game week um, in terms of getting things together. Um, and then all-star wise, you know, I don't really have many buddy left. Many buddy? Many users. On Soraya, and I'm just talking crap now. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's up with me today. Um, so I'm going to end there, right? So I'm going to end there. So hopefully if you got to the end of the video, you've not had to look at too many of these um, ads and everything that have been chucked in by YouTube. I've made a grand total of 13 quid in nine months. So if you um, add up all the expenses and then take away the money that's been paid out by YouTube, then I'm only down about 900 quid. So there we go. Hope you guys are enjoying the content because the channel is for you guys, not for me. It's so that people can get a wee bit of help, so that people can learn, hopefully have a bit of fun with it and everything as well. I don't even know if I'm going to say good luck and go fuck because I don't know if anybody's actually going to have any decent teams out this weekend. But if you're playing the MLS um, side of things, yeah, in the cash comps and let's go after that cash and on that note we will now end